so now the same concept here let me write down here same we have vlan 10 here name is a name is a we can say it and ip schema we are using 192.168.10.0 slash 24 and here gateway we can use as 192.168.10.1 slash 24 and then we can put this here this will be 20 and it means we can give as a hr and this will be 20 and this will be 20 then here 30 we can say this one is a 30 and here i can put this is a 30 and it we use hr we use sales i can put any name we can give and this number should be 30 here okay and here between this link should be trunk and this computer should use the ip 192.168.10.2 and you can go here 10.1 we can use this we can take like 20 dot 20 dot 2 and gateway will be 20 dot 1 the same what we have just now and here if you see this will be 30 30.1 we are using gateway so 30.2 then we go here and we can configure here this one you can put here 30.1 and this will be 30.3 and So now we can do the configuration here this one i save right let's see yeah so let, let me create new tab here i will write like uh, svi we are calling svi or switch virtual interface or layer 3 switch inter vlan we can do inter vlan with layer 3 switch so first I have the switch uh, to the below one so I will do that configuration so in the axis layer switch we can do the basic configuration just we can write like uh, create the VLAN and here your switch name is SW2 and we can create VLAN 10 name is IT then VLAN 20 name is HR then you have VLAN 30 name is IT HR and sales we use then you need to put interface range here let's see which port where we configure 1 and 2 here 3 and 4 here 5 and 6 so here i can write interface range f0 by 1 dash 2 then we will write here switch port mode axis switch port mode axis vlan 10 then interface range here f0 by f0 by 3 dash 4 switch port switch port mode axis then switch port axis vlan 20 then you have interface range f0 by 4 we have right 5 6 5 dash 6 and then we can write here switch port mode axis then switch port axis vlan 30 
so this one and you have interface here interface f0 by 7 you can write here as switch port mode trunk so this is a switch one configuration we can paste this one and here let's see everything is good i will and we can check show vlan brief as per our plan and then show interface trunk so we have trunk this port all vlan allow this is the protocol we are using to make the trunk now we can go here i can write here switch one configuration enable config t host name sw1 then vlan 10 vlan 10 name is it and here i can say vlan 20 name is hr then you have vlan 30 name is sales and this one you need to write ip routing you can write here anywhere you can write or starting here also we can write to enable the routing here like this also then interface f0 by 1 switch port trunk encapsulation dot 1q then switch port mode trunk this is a command for layer 3 trunk and here interface vlan 10 like this you need to assign the ip inside if you are saying right how we can access the switch so you can assign the ip like this inside the vlan and you can do the telnet this ip or ssh so we will copy this go here paste here the configuration so you can check everything look good no error nothing and you can save the configuration here even without save also it will be okay here in the cisco even if you did not save it will be okay but in juniper in other vendor you need to save if you did not save it will not work now i go here if you see i am here i can ping the different vlan and i need to check so i am here if you see 10.2 is my ip and different vlan we have 192 168 20.2 so this is different VLAN we need to check it is working and if you see it is working and if you see the VLAN 30 also 13.2 13.2 is not working so something wrong we need to check we need to do the troubleshooting 13.3 let's see see now let's see that troubleshooting why it is not working 20 10 is working means 20 is working when you do that this one 20.3 it is working 20.2 is also working here this one also but when we do 30.2 is also not working 30.3 is also not working here destination host unreachable so first see we have ip or not you have here ip so this is good here also you have ip so this is also good here but what is the problem here let's see here we forget to make the inter vlan see we done only for vlan 10 and 20 so you need to do this for vlan 30 also here if you have vlan 40 you need to do for 40 also if you have vlan 50 you need to do this for vlan 50 also now it will start working if you paste this you will go here you will go in the global configuration mode and we can paste here and i can save the configuration and now before it is not working we can test here but when you change immediately it will not work it will take few minutes stp all they will take care after that it will start working so if you see 30.2 is also working let's see yeah everything is working perfectly and